So I know you and everybody else hates when you edit a video, it looks great, and then you go to export it, and it looks like trash. Well in today's video, I'm going to show you how to avoid that. So I'm going to show you how to make sure your videos look good on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, even YouTube Shorts, and at the end, I'll show you export settings for your clients. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right. So right off the bat, you're going to go ahead and make sure you check your project settings and make sure it's at what you want it to be exported at. So the timeline resolution, 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD, and you're going to make sure your timeline frame rate is where you want it. So let's get out. Mine's at 30 FPS. Everything looks good there. So let's go to the deliver page. And now you can see your deliver page. Uh, you have presets up here that you can go ahead and look at. Today, we're going to be focused on a custom export. So for YouTube, go ahead and name your file. All right. So choose the location you want to export it to. All right. Easy enough. All right. And H.264 is going to be good for compatibility, but you can do H.265 for the best compression. But I would say just stay and stick with H.264. Encoder, I would stay on NVIDIA. That's what I'm working with. If you're unsure, leave it how it is. Uh, resolution, you obviously want to make sure this matches your timeline resolution. And mine is exactly where I want it to be. My frame rate is exactly where I want it to be. And it matches the timeline frame rate. So make sure all that lines up. All right. And then this is where things can kind of change the quality. You're going to hit restrict to if you're concerned about file size and upload speeds, I'd stick to around 35 thousand to 45,000 kilobits per second. If you're not, I would put it in between 55 to 65,000 kilobits per second. And for guaranteed quality, I would go to rate control and put it at constant bit rate. Obviously the file size will increase, but if you want consistent constant quality, constant bit rate is good. Again, if you're worried about the file size, I would hit variable bit rate, leave it there. All right, and if we come over to audio here, I would choose the advanced audio codec. This is good. This is gonna work for you great. I would leave the track data rate at 320 and the sample rate, put it to 48,000. This is gonna match YouTube's recommended audio specs. After that, you're just gonna go ahead and hit add to render queue and click render all. It should render fairly quickly. Remember, so for shorts, reels, TikToks, uh, what you can do is come here to timeline, right click duplicate the timeline go ahead and double click it uh you can rename it to short form or reels or tiktoks or whatever and then go ahead and right click again okay go to timeline settings you're going to uncheck this use project settings uncheck and you're going to go to 1920 by 1080 hd and then you're going to use vertical resolution so there we go and then we can go back to timeline one timeline two, and they are both different forms. So this is good. Okay, so remember, if we go down here to our gear icon, uh, and we impact these settings, these project settings, it's going to only impact uh, timeline one, not the short form timeline we're on. If you want to make any more modifications to that, just right click it, go to timelines, timeline settings, and modify it. So uh, make sure this is what you want to export it at uh, these settings and you're good to go. So let's go over here to the deliver page. We're going to rename it and put it in a different location if you need. All right, so things can change a little bit here. Not much, it's easy. Check this out. I hope you're still with me. So if you try to export at the highest quality possible here, Instagram is gonna put your video in a shredder and then try to glue everything back together because their compression uh, is heavy. Everybody knows that, I hope. So what you can do is the format MP4, that'll be good. Codec H.264, perfect. Encoder, NVIDIA, or whatever your computer uses or whatever it's on, use that. We don't want to put anything too high here, all right? 1080 by 1920 resolution. If you go and upload in 4K, Instagram is just going to compress it and maybe even lower the quality below 1080 by 1920. So just leave it at 1080 by 1920 and Instagram recommends 30 FPS, so that's what I would use. And then here on quality, just to avoid heavy compression, uh, you can put this in between 5,000 to 15,000, I'd say. For Instagram recommends five to 10,000, but if you wanna try a little bit higher, see how it works, you can. I'm gonna put mine at 10,000. 
and everything else will stay the same, even the audio, all right? And for TikTok, the only thing that would change is right here, the kilobits per second. I would keep it in between eight to 16,000. For TikTok, they don't compress as much as Instagram, so they still preserve a little bit of that quality. And YouTube Shorts, I would use the same settings as Instagram Reels. That's what's worked for me. For the finale, we're gonna go over, I'd say, very good settings for sending videos to clients, all right? So let's go back to obviously timeline one, go to the deliver page. For format, I would go ahead and recommend, we wanna send them a pretty good looking file, but we also wanna find that balance between uh, quality and file size, because if it's too big, their computer won't really be able to play it. What I would recommend is QuickTime and then Kodak and Encoder, let's see. Right here, it's on auto. I'm gonna change it to Nvidia. And I would also stick with H.264. If you know that their uh, system can handle H.265, go ahead and click H.265. Uh, it's, it's better quality, obviously. The resolution, there we go, 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. Want to give it to them in 4K, 30 FPS, same as the timeline. We're looking good. All right, quality. You can go ahead and change this anywhere from 50,000 to 60,000 kilobits per second. It should not be an issue and it should uh, maintain the high quality of the video you want to send them. If file size or their system isn't an issue, you could put it in between 80,000 to 100,000 kilobits per second. Obviously, this will be a big file, but the quality will be great. And uh, for rate control, obviously everything we've talked about still applies. Variable bit rate is good if you're not, if you're kind of worried about the file size and playback. Constant bit rate is gonna be good though. It'll give you a little bit of a bigger file, but the quality will remain constant. No matter the type of scene in the video, it'll look good, same quality throughout the whole video. Uh, that's where you can decide kind of what you wanna put. The audio here, Keep it at advanced audio codec and sample rate is good there. All these settings are fine. So obviously a lot of this is kind of seeing what works for you, mix and matching. That's what I would recommend guys. So thank you for watching. I hope I provided value. Obviously go try this out, try all these out. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.